awesome, right? But what exactly happened? How did Rainbow Dash create such a loud bang and such a huge shockwave simply by moving fast? Rainbow Dash is actually moving faster than the speed of sound, which is 340.29 meters per second, or just over 761 miles per hour. That's over 10 times the average highway speed. She is going so fast that the air in front of her can't move out of the way fast enough. The air pressure increases, and you can see this as a distortion in the light. The buildup of air pressure creates a shockwave which makes a very loud bang. How loud? About 200 decibels. That's twice as loud as a chainsaw. Can Rainbow Dash and her friends hear the boom, going faster than sound? If they were inside a vehicle, they could because the air would be moving with them. However, since they are not inside anything, they wouldn't be able to hear anything because sound waves simply wouldn't be able to catch up with them. What would it feel like to travel faster than the speed of sound? Well, have you ever been on a plane or on a roller coaster? The force keeping you in your seat is called the G-force. One G is equal to Earth's gravity. It's what you feel sitting at your computer right now. Zero G will be what the astronauts above you feel, weightlessness. 3.5G is what you would feel on an intense roller coaster or on a space shuttle. Humans can survive 10G for a short period of time. At supersonic speed, the G forces can be as high as 9G. That's enough to make a human pass out. We need special suits to be able to fly planes that fast. Good thing ponies have magic. Ponies and planes aren't the only things that can go faster than the speed of sound. The crack of a whip is actually a tiny sonic boom and some land vehicles have also broken the sound barrier. Felix Baumgartner broke the sound barrier during his record-breaking 24-mile skydive. You can even create a sonic boom by snapping a bed sheet. Note the parents, I am not responsible for your kid getting any ideas. I hope you have fun learning about sonic booms and g-forces. If you want to learn more, here are some great websites.